I believe that how we choose to show up impacts every part of our personal and our professional life. And I'm committed to helping people show up with stronger self-awareness and the strategies they need to communicate with stronger impact and lead with more credibility. See, you and I, we have past experiences and learned behaviors that impact how we love, how we lead, and ultimately, how we communicate with everyone else in our lives. And we have to acknowledge that the behaviors and the skills that we adopted to be successful yesterday might not be the same skills and knowledge and strategies that we need to be successful today and even tomorrow. And for me, I learned that lesson the hard way. On September 19th of 1998, my dad died very unexpectedly of a major bacteria infection that attacked his heart while I was in bed with my mom. And as a young guy, that event altered the course of my life. And I learned to cope by you know, shutting off my emotions, throwing myself into my career, and subconsciously seeking validation from other people. It was years later that I, I finally realized the impact that um, that those behaviors had in my personal relationships and even in my career progression. And I woke up one morning to the realization that when you build a foundation of self-worth based on other people's approval, it's bound to come crumbling down. And it did. I knew to make the impact that I said that I wanted to make, that I had to be willing to do my work first. I had to stop blaming everyone else and being critical of everyone else around me. I had to sit in the feedback that I'd been hearing and I had to get really clear about how did I want to show up. The process, it wasn't easy. It was extremely messy, probably way messier than I anticipated. And it was really uncomfortable. But in the end, I believe I won my life back. That experience, along with my expertise in training and development, has given me the insight that I need to design great training and coaching experiences that get people out of their busyness, that have them self-reflect about what's working and what's not working so they gain stronger self-awareness. Because in the end, it's really about helping people figure out how do you want to show up and how is what I get to coach you on help you be more or less of who you want to be? And then you get to make an informed decision. Because I believe that when we do that and we empower people to get their vision and be more self-aware, we give them the tools and strategies to create long-term behavior change. That impacts the bottom line of businesses. Because it's your ability to connect that makes people want to do business with you again. It's your ability to listen beneath your client's words that you learn to see what most people miss. It's your ability to break all the rules and present better than your competition that makes you really stand out. And it's your ability to be perceived as a credible leader that makes people feel committed to following you versus just compliant. This impacts the bottom line of business and this is why I'm so passionate about what I get the opportunity to do. So if you're an individual and you're ready to go on that journey for yourself to discover even better you, then stay informed and motivated and sign up for my free email and video series on the top of my homepage. And if you're a company and you're looking to potentially bring in a speaker, then I would love the opportunity to talk with you and learn more about your business. Remember that our job is not to wake up every day and have it all together. Our job is to show up every day and just be better than yesterday.